Okay, what you have here is water hammer. Alright, this is when you hear vibrating through all your pipes. And what, what this is caused by is uh, uh, by movement of water. So you can imagine water, you know, we have like liters of water inside your pipes. And as soon as it hits a stop, okay, it's like, a, you know, like a train hitting the wall. So it happens in most uh, households, all right. And one way about this, uh, going about solving this is to install a water, uh, a water hammer arrester in your pipeline. But there's a neat little trick I want to show you if you want to try to DIY um, this, is to get air into your system. Because if there's no air into your system, there's no compressibility and there's nothing to stop the vibration. And in this case, the lines are full of water and you know it's just vibrating because water is, is a liquid that cannot be compressed. So um, first things first is we need to shut off water from the whole house and then we need to drain out all the water from the, uh, the, from the plumbing. So I'll show you guys how to do that in just a sec. But before I do, do give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe. I put up videos uh, every, every week and uh, you know, do leave a comment if you have any, any ideas, any videos you would like me to make, anything you want to ask, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll respond to almost all your comments. So without uh, further ado, I think we'll get straight into it. Okay, so you want to look for the riser outside your house. It says gas and water. If you are in a condo, you might need to get your condo management to uh, open it up. But in HDB, it's, it's open. If you lay, land a property, you know it's somewhere outside. Open it up and we're going to find the, uh, the riser. So, I'm looking for this house. And... Okay, so I've identified the... Uh, the water riser and I'm going to turn it off you turn it clockwise until it switches off okay. you can make it fairly tight you don't need to go all the way but that, that's good enough right so the the water has been turned off already right now I'm in the toilet and why I'm here is because you want to drain the water from the highest and the lowest point of your plumbing system in this home the lowest point is the, uh, the bidet. So just open that up. Okay, the water has been turned off. Open that. Okay, and you make sure that the, the tap, okay, put it down on the ground somewhere, somewhere there, and make sure the tap is turned all the way up. And then you want to open up all the shower, uh, shower mixers. So I'm going to open this one, and what it does, it opens up. Uh, it, it releases the vacuum so that all the water can drain out. I'm going to open the shower uh, here and the one inside the master bedroom. So as you can see, as soon as I open up, you can hear that there's water that's flowing out the bidet. And this, I'm going to open up the master bedroom so all the water can come out. So uh, I've turned on the master, uh, the master mixer, and water is still flowing out. From the, uh, from the bidet hose. So I'm just going to leave it uh, for about five minutes and you know, wait until all the water has been drained out. And then we'll put everything back together and we'll repressurize the system and you'll see how that does. Okay, so the, uh, the water has stopped and I'm going to put everything back together again. So remember, all the taps that you have turned on, you turn off. If not, if you want to turn on the, the mains, everything is going to, you know, <laughs> burst. So yeah, turn off all the taps here, here, and uh, in the master bedroom as well. Okay, so the uh, water hammer has been fixed. Um, that is one way you can go about trying to troubleshoot it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But you can give it a shot if you want a DIY. And uh, yeah, if you like that tip, uh, do leave a like, share and subscribe. And of course, if this doesn't work, you might need to get professional. But uh, just give it a shot first. Till next time, take care.